Um, well, we did a heck of a job on the glass tonight. Um, we only got remount, out remounted by 23. Uh, I think that was the difference in the game. We a uh, little bit undermanned in the post. Our guys fought as best they could, but those guys more as relentless on the glass. And, and when you get 21 offensive rebounds, and those are extra opportunities for them. A couple times we get a stop, we just couldn't grab the ball. And they were playing volleyball with it and loose balls we couldn't come up with. And so I, I thought that was the difference. Our guys played hard. We competed. I thought we executed for the most part our, our game plan. But the one part that we couldn't get done is remounting the ball. And, and that made all the difference. Coach, talk about your team's effort tonight. They really seem to come out and play with a fire, especially at the beginning of the game. Um, I thought we were hungry. I thought we wanted to win. I thought we were excited to be here and, and excited to play. I mean, I think there's a big difference between happy to be here and wanting to play. And, and I thought our guys wanted to play. Uh, the first couple minutes of the game, you can tell a lot about our team, at least, by how they react to certain situations. You know. Uh, call here or, or a missed rebound there and even a turnover. I thought we took all those things in stride and continued to try to execute. So I, I, I was happy, not happy, I'm sorry. I was proud, proud of their effort. Man, I've been proud to be a Skyhawk all year. I know we've been through ups and downs, but I was really proud of their effort today. Jason, you had a seven minute stretch there in the second half. I think you went from 15, 25 to under seven minutes uh, where you did not make a field. I think you had six free throws. You got some decent looks, but not great looks. Were you having to work so hard to get those looks on the offensive end because you didn't have Miles as an option inside? Yeah, I mean, Miles is kind of a safety blanket for us. When we're not scoring well, we can throw it in there, and he can get us a basket. And so during that stretch, I thought we continued to try to run our stuff, but we were just missing shots. You know, part of it was we were worn down because they kept coming at us. And, the other part of it was we were just missing shots. You know, uh, some of our passes were off. Some of those passes we usually catch and stride and shoot them, but they were kind of off target. But I, I think all that played into the fact that they kept coming at us. They were being aggressive with us. And that stretch right there hurt us. We were able to stay in the game a little bit because we were guarding, which is always something we try to do. But, but, but I do think not having Miles to, 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 to rely on hurts a little bit. Mike, you had a really good night tonight. What's running through your head now? I'm kind of frustrated. Uh, it's a tough loss. I felt like we still could have won. Um, we just, like Coach said, we didn't, they doubled us on the board. So it's tough to win like that. We, we, we were a man down. We didn't have much size. So it's just frustrating. How much of a difference would Miles have made on the boards? I don't know, he's getting eight a night, so maybe we'd have 31 instead of 23. Uh, probably, you know, I mean, I, I think his presence in there means more than just a rebound. You know, he's so big that he can kind of take care of two guys going to the glass, and, and, and now we have a, a little bit of a better chance. But, you know, saying that, Jeremy's been a warrior all year, man. I mean, you know, I don't want to overlook the fact that for two years, he's given us his heart and soul, and tonight was no different. He played his tail on. He played as hard as he could. He competed as hard as he could. Um, he still likes to foul, but he continued to fight, continued to try to go through stuff. So we're proud of what we did. I mean, we know where we have to get better. Uh, we're not going to sit here and make excuses. Miles got hurt. He didn't play. And, uh, with the guys we had, we were still in the game, still had a chance. Coach, uh, the fact that you guys have been Playing to get here for the last couple of weeks and then been able to be at this experience. What can you take from it going forward in the next season? Well, I told our guys in the in the uh, locker room after the game. You know, the atmosphere, the OC term is totally different. Everything's intense. The band plays a little harder. The cheerleaders cheer a little louder. The referees' whistles go a little louder. I mean, everything's intense. And so, what we'll take from it is the atmosphere, the level we have to play at to con cons consistently compete. Um, we got to that level for a little bit, went through a little lull, went down 15, and then got back to that level, and we're playing from behind. Um, I think we can get there, but that's the main thing. Every day from, in workouts from here on out, we have to be at that level if we want to continue to be here. Coach, with all the injuries you fought for this year, have you considered wrapping your guys in bubble, bubble wrap to uh, keep from getting so hurt next year? Um, we thought about it. 
duct tape is probably what we'll use for <laughs> here on out. They say duct tape, duct tape cures everything. Uh, you know, it, it, it's been very, very frustrating. And, and I think one thing that our guys don't realize is, is that this year, even last year, in four years of being the head coach, we've never had a full team healthy for the whole year. We've had guys hurt here, guys hurt there. We played three games this year with four starters out. And our guys continue to, to build and continue to fight. What that says is that our young guys should be OK as we get older. And there's a certain brand of basketball we want to play regardless of who's in uniform. And we're starting to understand that and, and figure that out. Any other questions for Coach? All right, guys.